Welcome Dragon Champions to another Dragon Log Gaming Presents Dragon Champions video. I am your host Dragon. Thank you so much for being here. If you are new around here, hit that subscribe button, hit that notifications bell so you don't miss a thing. Drop a comment down below. If you like the video at any point, please hit that thumbs up button. It really helps me out a lot. Shout out to all my new subscribers over the last little bit since I've come back. I really do appreciate all the love and support from the community. And let's get into today's topic. Top 10 characters in this game right now top 10 characters as of may 2020 and i'm gonna start by saying the 10th best character in the game right now is trumgar trumgar is the 10th best character in the game he's probably arguably the best tank in the game the reason why he's generally arguably the best tank in the game is once again he has the ability to taunt on the first turn which makes him super valuable he can heal himself as well he has some of the best physical and magic damage armor in the game health and shields are generally pretty even for this character even if you put all healing on him uh you a lot of people in the meta and this is my test account that you're seeing right now that's why you have such big numbers here but a lot of people of course are modding him similarly to how i have him modded here which is mostly tenacity runes um just making it so he can't be stunned but he's got some great great stats his ability to stun on his basic is um, amazing and he can switch stances um and his stance change allows him to have of course have counter attack and he is one of the faster tanks and so he just overall is a great great tank um a lot of people are still using him he's sticking around uh and i think he is probably the 10th best character in the game as of now our ninth best character in the game as of right now i would say is renara renara is the ninth best character currently in the game because she is a very valuable healer i think that she's got her abilities to heal and be able to revive teammates are pretty good uh her she can add cheat death which really does help after the you know with her passive ability uh with full health right that's really really nice her ability to bring back other characters is nice her heal does a lot of a lot of four 100% of her magic damage was just pretty dang good and applies to regeneration for three turns really really nice and then of course she applies regeneration to allies uh to an ally with the lowest health for two turns so everything about her is healing oriented which makes her very very valuable she doesn't have to sacrifice her own heals and if you just you know just for the hay of it i mean she's one of the more beautiful drawing characters in the game but that doesn't really matter she is fast she can be super fast she's very very effective um and she's the best healer we have on the pride side as of right now and so she becomes very very valuable having her um when you need a healer on the pride side for other things like tower and that sort of stuff while she's not terribly effective as of now she did help dominate the meta in april um with her abilities when she came out um, especially putting her aside hera uh, that was really really nice and so she ends up landing in the number nine spot number eight in the list right now is ember ember is in the number eight spot and you could put freezard also here um in the number eight spot you probably could interchange them uh the reason why i put ember at number eight and spoiler alert um and freezard at number seven is availability um that's really the biggest difference between the two freezard is very available while ember is not as available she does come from she's a five star unlock she is you have to have your elves to be able to unlock her which means that it takes a good bit of time and energy and you know resources to get her and then of course you have to spend the resources to level her up however she is a fantastic damage dealer 
um, in this game. She has a stun, which goes off almost every time. Um, it barely, rarely gets resisted. Uh, she also can remove buffs, and she just does a ton of damage. She's also tough to kill. Um, she is tough to kill because she does recover her health, 6% of her health for each stack of burn, and that does help a good bit. So she is a damage dealer. She's also helped dominate the meta uh, for month, month after month after month uh, since her release, and so she does land in the number uh, eight spot. Speaking of number seven, Freezard, here we go again. Freezard has been at the top of every list that I've done, and right now he's accessible for just about anyone, even new people coming to the game with the events, with the personal events. I know this is a personal event. It doesn't seem to have an end date um, as of right now. So look, I mean, if you're new to the game and that sort of stuff and you spend money in this game, you can get Freezard. He's one of the best characters in the entire game. He does a ton of damage. Uh, if you're not familiar with the way he works, he does slow, inflicts slow for two turns. He's very, very powerful. Slow is great mechanic for the raid. Um, he's got three, two other attacks, one that does an AoE for three, hits three people, and an AoE that hits all of the targets, all enemies, which is very, very important when you're talking about um, going up against more Doom. Of course, there he has counters. He does increase turn meter by 25%, which kind of gives him a counter to the Slinger lead, which does help. Um, and of course, he has Fatal Blow, so he gets a built. He has a built-in cheat death mechanic. He can be quite fast. He does a ton of damage, and that is a big, big win for Freezard. So Freezard comes in at the number seven slot. Number six. And number six is Nightiel. Nightiel, of course, has been an amazing character since she since inception. She does a ton of damage. She can get past your pierce, piercing shields. Um, she can pierce the shields. Her silence of the veil ability blocks for two turns does a ton of damage. I mean, I've crit for 45,000 on this ability. Of course, applying a damage up for all of her allies is really, really, really important. And of course, her ability to remove debuffs from herself and debuffs from Solia are super super awesome so she comes in at number six on the list because she still is a very very good character she can carry you through the ember event um you know because she's so good uh she really really helps out and i think that she's a, a character that everybody should want to have in their arsenal especially coming up for battlegrounds with that being said coming in at number five on my list of top 10 characters as of right now is Solius. Solius is coming in at number five. Big reason is, is that there are a lot of counters for Solius right now. So as you know, um, number 10, of course, was Renara um, with her abilities. And so now we're going to Solius at number five. He's a, absolutely the best healer in the game. Probably one. Of, and my last thing, he was the best character in the game. As of right now, he is not, in my opinion, the best character in the game. There are many counters to him that's not a dig on Solius he is by far the best healer in the game phenomenal character has the ability to do amazing amazing things obviously he does a lot of damage for a healer um, restores random abilities uh, you know on his on his basic uh you know he heals 550 percent of his magic damage that's the highest in the game of course he has another heal which gains haste and crit chance i mean it's just he does so many good things and then of course for overall um, overall allies and humans he does great for them ally humans and tacticians healers and potency and then of course he has his synergy with Nightiel. his leadership of course is great across the board for the order and that is super super nice so he comes in at number five number four on my list um, 
right now, as of right now, is Kara. Kara is number four uh, on my list. They just did an art update for her. She looks awesome. By the way, a lot of the art updates that they did for the characters are phenomenal, so hats off to the developers for the art update. Uh, but she comes in at number four. She's been at the top of every single list. Uh, she just does so many good things. Of course, the ability block, her ability to damage all enemies and use daze, which is a huge, 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 huge daze. Really, really helps stop enemies from gaining turn meter and crit um, and makes them so they can't counterattack. So, I mean, it's really, really, really awesome. And then, of course, her ability to, she gains invisibility, applies counterattack to defend Defenders, restores 25% turn meter to all her allies, whether they're demons or not demons, it just, right? And then, of course, if Venomates on the battlefield, she gain, he, uh, he gains haste. And then, of course, she does eight when she does a 30% more damage when invisible. And, you know, and that's just really nice um, as well. And so she's just a phenomenal character. She has been since the beginning. She was one of the characters that we have all recommended you level up. She's still a top character in this game and uh, I think that she is the fourth best character currently in the game the third best character in the game um, at the present time is cruel and you might ask me well why does Freezard and Freezard and uh, Nightiel and you know Soleus and Ember, they're all below her. Well, the reason for that is, is that she makes the mage meta work. Um, she is the reason why that meta works. She, her, her final ability, Bound by Shadows, I know I missed on her in the beginning. I didn't think she was going to be as good. I thought this was kind of a silly uh, passive ability. I know I went on record saying that. I was wrong. Uh, completely wrong on her. She's probably still the third best character in the game. She's the reason why the mage meta works. She is a phenomenal character. Um, and... And I, I, I find that she does such a good job in the meta, uh, you know, to performing the meta. She what makes that team run um, with her ability. Of course, her ability to clone and create reflections to be able to make defenders go away and, uh, you know, her healing darkness, uh, you know, it, it, it's a nice basic and she does pretty well and allows her summon her attacker to summon as well. So that's pretty good. So she is the, currently the third best character in the game at this present time. The second best character in the game right now is Slinger, in my opinion. Slinger has the best, I think, overall leadership uh, for PvP in the game. All allied demons gain 20% of their maximum health. Not a big deal, but if you run them without the demons, it does a pretty dang good job. Every time an ally suffers a critical hit, all allies cover 5% of their turn meter. Sorry. Allied demons recover twice this amount. This is why demons are dominating the meta at the moment. Recovering turn meter on critical hits really slows down the mage team, right? However, the mage team can still kill this team. So it ends up kind of on a rock, paper, scissors sort of format, um, but his leadership is fantastic is fantastic um really does help out if you go to the rest of his kit he does really really well he gains damage increase crit increase or critical dance increase one turn at the end of his turn so every turn he's getting something different he removes buffs right on critical hits uh those are awesome deal 70 percent to uh to 370 percent of physical damage to his inflicts damage decrease which you know wrecks the other team and then he removes turn meter uh, 50 percent chance to remove 10 percent turn meter so he just is an awesome character but he's only really become awesome because of the number one character currently in the game which i believe is to be more doom now i know this is going to be kind of a controversial pick for number one yes he is the newest character to come out and they're gonna go dragon you just picked him because he's the newest character coming out well hold on 
let's talk about it for a minute and that may be true to a certain extent but let's talk about what he does okay more doom come brings a lot to the table he has a removes two buffs on his basic right that just gets rid of people like trump car just nope done not gonna do it right um his third ability, his third ability, he he just he deals 480% of magic damage to that enemy and then inflicts armor decrease, tenacity decrease, slow damage decrease, potency increase, and ability block for three turns. Three turns. It's crazy. You can just lock an entire person out of battle with him. He's fast. He does a ton of damage, right? His passive ability, he gains 10% tenacity and 10% potency for each living demon in the party. So you put him in a demon group with Slinger, and now you have, he doesn't miss, he, he hits, right? He gains a ton of tenacity and a ton of potency and just doesn't get resisted. So that is huge. Lastly, he summons these two demon henchmen with 50% of Nord Do More Doom's health and 80% of his damage, right? Now, 80% of his damage, they they do pretty well. Now, this is a little RNG, right? Obviously, they don't heal a ton. They don't do a ton of damage. But every once in a while, they crit for like 5,000 or they heal for 5,000. But that's not what makes them good. What makes them good right now and what makes him the number one character in the game is that he has these abilities to just change the course of battle. He changes the course of battle by being able to debuff and lock out an entire character from battle. Next, when you're in situations where you're playing up against him, right, or when the AI is playing up against you, they tend to target, the AI tends to target the lowest character's health. Well, these little demon guys, right, if you notice, they when they're out, they get targeted by the AI. He casts them really quickly, right? First turn, boom, two guys out, right? And then he can either cast his regular, his, either his basic or his other ability. And then it's usually what? Demons, then your third ability, then your basic, and then back to, you know, back to casting demons again. Um, or another basic and then the casting demons again. It, the, he can have a ton of demons out and you put him with a demon team his potency just goes up he does a ton of damage and the demons start to get annoying and the ai targets them and so unless the ai starts to target someone else or hit other characters they're generally going to be the lowest lo the lowest health characters on the board and they're going to get they're going to buff him for every time he's out so more doom is, for all those reasons more doom is currently the best character in the game now before i let you all go i know that there's really two honorable mentions that need to be talked about and we're talking about <laughs> zara and we're talking about shadar and the reason why, and maybe hard work to a certain extent, maybe little baddie um, to a certain extent, but these two characters, Shadar and Zara, are good characters. They are fantastic characters. In fact, really, if you want to do a top 12, Zara goes up there as well. Um, she gets up there, uh, and she's really, really, really good. The only reason why I don't currently put her in here is we can't max her out. She is very good at, at seven stars, even better than she is at five. Shadar is hard to get a hold of, and for a lot of people, they still don't have him. I know if you've been playing a while, he's there and he get, makes that demon team run and so he's really really good as well i just want to make sure that you know i'm not forgetting them i know they're there but they're not as important as some of these other characters all around some would say well just drop renara off she's not that important well she's important for people who need to be able to get um you know a, pr a good healer on the side of the clans she's the best one over there of course hard orc is great he's a good character and he's a great character but he's you know he should still be the first person you're getting out of the star shop uh but 
right now, those are kind of your top ones. If you look at the top ones that here I have, Tromgar, Solius, Slinger, Nighty Elf, Freezard, Ember, Mordoom, Cruel, Renara, Hard Orc, Shadar, um, Kara, Zara, and Little Batty. If you have all of those characters at gear 11, you're probably doing quite well for yourself on your shard, just like I am. And then we're looking at my personal account now. I don't have many other gear 11s. I have a few. I have a few uh, gear 11s. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Punch your face. All right. And then some gear 10s, uh, as you can see there. But for the most part, these top 14 characters, if you have them, you're doing very, very well. Um, and and I think that everybody probably has Zara. I think she's really good. I think she's going to be, um, I think she is a meta defining character, but I just, I left her off this list because she was there for about a month and then she kind of, she's kind of disappearing. Um, she's great though. She is great. And I think that she deserves to be on this list. I think she's probably better than Renara in, in general, but Renara has overall better viability, at least as an overall thinking about going forward. So I want to make sure that we're, we're clear on that little baddie, I think is the best tank on the order side. She might be the best tank in the game, arguably, but I've, I, I, my love affair with Little Batty has kind of gone away. Um, Shadow is quite good, uh, but I know a lot of people don't have him, and so I kind of left him off the list. If you disagree with me at all, that's perfectly okay. Drop your comments down below. If I miss something, please comment down below. Um, if I'm wrong, I'll you know you you know me. I'll be the first one to say that I'm wrong. But I think this is where I'm currently at um, with the heroes in the game and how good they really are. Uh, of course, General Murdoch, uh, Gorum, I think they're good, but there's no need for them. As you can see, I haven't even unlocked them. Uh, and then some of the other characters as well. Ren the Unseen, right, who I'm almost done with. Phalia, who I'm almost done with. Bori, who I, you know, uh, Boris, I guess. I don't know when they changed his name. Um, Lake, who, uh, you know, I've had him, but I, why bother at this point? Not not a great character. And Selena, she, while she's, you know, a cute, you know, female Harry Potter. I don't see the purpose right now for me um, to have her. So, like I said, if I messed up, if you think I'm wrong, let me know down in the comments below. Uh, if you are new around here, hit that subscribe button, hit that notifications bell so you don't miss a thing. And we'll see you next time. Wing Gaming and the Law Intersect.